The Minister of Transport, Cindy Siwe Chikunga, uh, together with MECs of Transport, Roads, Infrastructure, Public Works and Community Safety and Liaison, as well as department entities and stakeholders in the sector, will officially launch the 18th installment of the annual October Transport Month campaign in Midrand. Now, the launch will showcase major milestones and achievements in the development, upgrade and maintenance of transport infrastructure. Our reporter, Hasina Gori, is attending the annual October Transport Month campaign. Let's cross over to Hasina um, as the minister is launching the 18th installment. So it's uh, over to you. Good morning. We're coming to you at uh, this morning from the South African Taxi uh, Rank um, headquarters uh, here in Midrand, where October uh, is uh, the transport month. And ahead of the weekend uh, beginning, uh, we now here at this launch where the Department of Transport, as well as various other stakeholders, are expected to launch this year's uh, process. I want to bring in the minister in a little moment with us to speak to us on what exactly we can expect this transport month. This is an industry that has been heavily impacted by COVID as well as various different uh, natural disasters as well as just the transport industry being impacted by various uh, different issues. And I want to bring in the minister right now, hopefully, and, and, and see if we can speak to her uh, with regards to what we can expect uh, this um, uh, month when we go and see October month uh, beginning the transport um, sector here. planning and so on, a lot of budget and all that, you then have to take longer so that you also get people you have to follow some processes and that is what makes us to take a little bit of time because we've got to start from scratch redesigning the damage that happened in the eastern in the western cape on our n2 it's going to take us a little bit of time because definitely if you look at the damage itself how extensive it is it actually means that you still have got to sit down and, and get the the, 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 the the engineers who are going to design and and you get people that know what to do so that you can have at the same particularly because it in, is in, on the river so it's it's quite a massive damage and it takes us back because it means then you must have some budget for that and you can't delay that and it means you must take money from somewhere and somehow there is a project that must none that must must stall because you now have got to prioritize this but we do that as as the department particularly prioritizing those areas that cannot wait for you know like anything else we're moving that on the issue of, of of road safety and i just want really to extend my sincere condolences to the families of the limpopo bus accident and also limpopo taxi accident where eight people died and 24 people died that's a lot uh, and, and 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 many of these people are breadwinners many of them come from tertiary institutions many of them are women when it comes to public transport because it's in the case in, 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 in the case of public transport it's women who who use this so they're leaving their children behind who now must grow up being orphans and that talks to the social impact that these accidents have leave out the economic impact that it has but of course the social impact as well because now you suddenly are going to have a child who grows out without a mother and 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 therefore don't benefit from being socialized by a mother and 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 we therefore bring in a uh, that comforting hand of road accident fund to say come and assist with the burial come and assist with the loss of support that those children will immediately ex uh, go through and 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 they therefore we assist them to come and make those claims so that they continue to get something from road accident fund as you will you will know that in south africa when the accident happens you don't go to the person who caused the accident, but you go to the road accident fund and ask for compensation from them. Thank you, Thank you so much, Minister. Can you just uh, tell us uh, this morning, we're here for the launch of the Transport Month. Can you tell us what is the theme that is expected for this month and, and what can we expect to happen uh, here? Our theme is simple this time around. Siaka, we are building. It actually talks to what we have done in terms of infrastructure built, what we are doing and what we plan to do. It also gives us op the opportunity to look at the challenges where we think we could have done better and, and, and look at how we can improve on that one. So yes, it's, it's the opportunity. This is the month where we reflect and look at ourselves, celebrate where we have to celebrate 
beat ourselves and, and, and clap ourselves where we think we've not done well and, 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 and where we think we need to consult, consult those people that can guide us and, and, and help us work together with the private sector for instance the president is leading on that and we are definitely seeing the importance of bringing on board the private sector and all our stakeholders in the private sector mm -hmm. and we think we think there is some movement in as far as that is concerned mm -hmm. we're coming out of a, a covid area where the transport industry was really affected with the maritime as well as aviation but also just uh, you know the transport uh, issues as whole how is uh, the department working on the recovery process of those industries for instance if you talk about the aviation sector it was really impacted f from whatever number of aircrafts landing to no aircraft landing and that means that our entities could not get any any money because they depend on the tariffs that are charged uh, to those aircrafts to those airlines to passengers as well but now fortunately we had a, a round table that is a last year we sat together with them we said what is it that we think we need to do and we said we can't just wait for things to happen by themselves let's go all out and begin to say come to south africa mm -hmm. and we invited the tourism sector because they those people are the ones that come to south africa and fly to south mm -hmm. africa with the tourism growing it actually calls for the demand for instance in the aviation sector in the aircraft that land to south africa so we did that and we said we will work together with brand south africa so that people come to South Africa but of course it also talks to investors who come to South Africa to start their businesses in South Africa when that happens you definitely need transport mm -hmm. and we are seeing some growth as a result of that we are seeing some of our 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 entities in the in the aviation sector making even having some surplus for instance reporting some some surplus we're very happy AXA for instance has recorded some surplus this time around and it is an infrastructure entity and we're very happy about that because what it means is that now AXA can also focus on inf on its infrastructure projects which it could not continue with during covid stage mm -hmm. and and this is what is exciting us but of course we've got other modes of transport your rail passenger rail that is what we are responsible for as the department of transport we've got the road transport we've got uh, the public transport yes. uh, so it's it's quite a lot and and we're looking at the infrastructure because we're saying we are building we we are Thank you so much, Minister, and we look forward to continuing this conversation throughout the day as we uh, look at the various different modes of transport as well as impact on uh, commuters and, uh, you know, South Africans as a whole, many reliant on public transport as well as the various different industries that rely on road travel to move uh, their businesses uh, to um, and for, uh, as you heard, uh, the aviation industry, one that is also in focus given uh, that COVID grounded many of uh, the transport and travel uh, processes. This is a story we will be bringing you throughout the day here at the launch of uh, the Transport Month, which begins on the 1st of October, which is on a Sunday. But uh, the Transport Department now is taking a head start today and launching uh, on a Friday ahead of that.